Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to push 2D collision objects with a player character. And this will be specifically in a platformer view, but the same logic should apply to top-down games as well. So as you can see here in the viewport, I have this set up from a previous video, and I was demonstrating how to set up collision objects if you want to see this video, just go check out the card that should be in the top right. But basically, I've gone ahead and created this test character, which is just a basic character body 2D. And then it has the collision shape and the sprite, of course. And if we go into this script, you can see that we basically have um, the default character body 2D setup for platformer movement. And if I test this out, um, this is kind of the result we're going to get at the end of the video. So we can move around, jump, and we can push these objects and they topple over and this is also based on the speed which you are moving so if you're moving slowly you can hardly push objects um, as you can see these boxes are too heavy to push um, unless we jump into them and then this ball is a lot lighter and it's also bouncier so the player can push it around more easily but that's basically what we're going to be setting up so let's get right into the code all right so i'm in my test character scene and actually i'm just going to delete my current script so i can walk you guys through setting it up yourselves so i'm going to click and create a new script on my character body 2d and where you can see the template we're just going to make sure that is checked and that we selected the character body 2d basic movement from the drop down and then we're going to click on create and this will kind of give us some essential code to work with for testing out our movement. Now, if you already have your 2D character set up, then you obviously would want to use your own script. But really what we want to be looking at is the move and slide function down here, which should always be placed inside of our physics process method. So we're going to add some code to this script under the move and slide function. And that's because we want to collide with objects and then check what we're colliding with and apply an impulse to any objects that we're colliding with. So the code for this is going to be for i in get slide collision count. And this will get every collision that we are currently interacting with. And we're just gonna define a new variable. I'm gonna call it C for collisions. And this is going to be equal to get slide collision. And the index is going to be I. Now, after we've obtained the collision, we are going to apply an impulse to that collision object. So first we're going to check, we're gonna say if C dot get collider and we're going to check if it is a rigid body 2d so we want to just make sure that this is a rigid body so that we can actually push it now after that we're going to define our push force and this line is going to vary a lot depending on how you want your game to actually process this kind of stuff but i'm going to provide you with a basic algorithm that i got working pretty well and i think this will work for most cases so really quickly here, we're just going to pass so that we're not getting this error. And up at the top, I'm going to define two new constants. The first constant is going to be called push force. And this is going to be equal to 15.0. Now we also want another constant. This one is going to be called minimum push force. Obviously the minimum amount that we'll be able to push. And this will be equal to 10.0. Back in our collision processing, we're going to replace this pass function with a new variable declaration. And we're going to call the variable push force. And we're going to set this equal to a quick algorithm here. So we're going to open up some parentheses and call up push force, making sure that this is our constant. We're also going to multiply this by our velocity dot length, and this will be the combined speed depending on the direction we are moving. And we're gonna divide this by our speed. Now, typically in a game, you'll have a maximum speed value. And if you do, you'd want to place the maximum speed right here, as this will make sure that our push force varies from zero all the way up to its maximum, which is 15, depending on how fast you're moving. And in this case, if our velocity is equal to 300, then our push force is going to be at its maximum being 15. Now, we also want to add a little bit on top of that just to make sure that when we are right up against a box or something and we try to move that we can actually push it otherwise your velocity will be zero and you won't actually be able to push the objects obviously so to do that simply add an additional minimum push force to the end of this algorithm and then the last line down here is we actually have to apply it to the collision so we're going to say c dot get collider dot apply central impulse 
and the amount is going to be negative c dot get normal multiplied by our push force variable and now everything should be working correctly if we go ahead and run the game you can see that we can move around and we can jump and if we run into objects we will push them and this box is floating right here because there is a gravity area affecting all the objects in its range but i have tested this system quite a bit with different scenarios and it seems to be working pretty well anyways that's going to do it for this video if you did learn anything new in this video or would like to provide any feedback or improvements on this current system be sure to leave a comment and also if you want to support the channel be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. You can also join our Discord server, which is linked in the description, as well as a few other things which you should check out. But thanks for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one.